Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we're taking a look at this a 19 inch LCD monitor. This is a TN panel and this is from Zepster. This is imported by Zebronix and as you can see the model number of the monitor is ZE19HD. So this is a HD monitor uh, and the size is 19 inch. Here are some of the specifications written on about the monitor. This is wall mountable so it comes with a VESA mount which is a really nice thing. The brightness levels are written, written here are in candelas. So this is about 220 candelas per square meter and the resolution maximum is your uh, 1366 by 768 which is a little more than HD and less than full HD. So this is not a full HD uh, display. I got this for 4000 rupees in the local market. So without any further delay, let's just take a look at what we get in the box and how the monitor looks inside. So the first thing that you see is your uh, base. This is a simple plastic base, a plastic base, a very simple mounting mechanism. Let's keep it aside. The other thing is you will get is uh, this is small package. Inside this, you will get an HDMI cable, not a VGA cable. You will get an HDMI cable and a power connector which will connect to your monitor. We will take a look at these just in a minute. Let's take the monitor out first. And finally, we get the monitor itself. So let me get the monitor out. So as you can see, this is how the monitor looks. Let me get this out of this polythene. So this is how the uh, monitor looks. As you can see, very shiny, very reflective. Here you can see the model number Zepster. And this is a 19 inch monitor. Let me show you from the back. If you take a look at the monitor from the back, you will see that here are the model number written here, ZE19HD. And these are the interface that you get. It is, It comes with an HDMI interface, a VGA interface. And as you can see, these two ports are missing. This is for audio in and DC in. Here is your Kensington lock, which probably is missing. Here is your power connector, a usual three pin power connector. And these are your control panel. You can see that the control uh, is your, on the most right, you will see your power button. Then you have your down button, up button, your menu button, and then your auto button. So these are your control buttons. The Mounting mechanism comes with a little bit of tilt, so you can only tilt this monitor on a certain uh, angle. So this is how the monitor looks from the front and the back. So here is a little a better look at from the back of the monitor. Again, on the bottom left, you will see your control panel. This is the power connector, your mounting mechanism, your four screws for the wall mounting setup or VESA mount, your HDMI input, your VGA input, and a port for audio input which is blocked, a port for DC input which is blocked and these holes for speakers on the both the sides. You can see on the left side you will see holes for the speakers, on the right side holes for the speakers but the speaker is not available. Now if you have this monitor there are two other monitors in the market. One is from Zebronix, this is from Zepster and another one from Enter. All the three monitor in the 19 inch size are probably manufactured in the same factory because all these three companies in the 19 inch size are using the same body the same structure the same type of uh, interface hdmi and vga the same button layouts the same speaker layout so which tells you that all the 19 inch monitors that you get from these three companies zepster zebronix and enter are from the same manufacturers or probably they are manufactured at the same place. So there is no difference in the quality of these three companies as far as uh, my view is concerned. So although there are holes for speakers, the speakers are not available in this monitor. A closer look at the control panel. Uh, the most important one is going to be your auto. So if you change your resolution, if you connect it to a different computer, uh, for a very quick setup, all you have to do is press this button auto. Now, once you press the auto button, the monitor will automatically resize the, uh, the screen to fit the uh, monitor size. 
then you've got your menu button from here you can select change the brightness contrast and color uh, temperature then you've got up down button and finally the power button and finally you have your power connector and your four holes for your VESA mount it's a good thing that even at this price you're getting an HDMI input as well as a VG input I will be using this with a VG input though so this was the overview from the back of this monitor now let us measure the length of this monitor or the dimensions of this monitor so as you can see measuring the length of this monitor it is coming out to be about 17 inches 17 inches or about 44 centimeters measuring the height of the monitor just the monitor not including the stem uh, just the height of the monitor is about a little more than 10 inches that's about 10 inches or about 27 centimeters so that is the dimensions of the monitor and if you take a look at the thickness of the monitor let me show you the thickness of the monitor so that should give you an idea so you can see this is how the thickness of the monitor looks it is a little thicker at the bottom because here are your uh, interface for the HDMI and all the connectors and this is the overall thickness of the monitor so measuring the thickness you can see it's just a little less than one inch or about it is 20 centimeters and from the bottom it's a little more than one inch somewhere about 30 centimeters so this is the dimensions of the monitor now let me show you how this monitor is connected on the base okay so now let me show you how you connect the base of this monitor so as you can see on the stem of the monitor you will find that there is a small notch as you can see there and if you take a look at the base you will find that there is a small clip which should fit that notch on this side you will see that a small clip visible there and all we'll have to do is align that clip so insert this like there and make sure that the clip is on the right side so you can see the clip is on the right side now all we have to do is insert this and this clip you should hear a click so that click meant that uh, the monitor this base is on and it's not going anywhere to take the base out all you will have to do is you will have to bend this a little down and then simply wiggle it out of the monitor stems so this is how you uh, connect the base to this monitor okay so now let's take a look at the cables that you get with this monitor so let me just uh, take them out so you will get this a uh, three pin plug a uh, three pin style power cable let me open this and measure the length of the power cable also speaking of the power cable the length uh, the thickness and the quality seems decent this is very flexible and if you want to take a look at uh, the ratings you can see this is the rating on the cable it is a half a millimeter square cable that they have used so let me measure the length of this cable starting for the three pin connector and the connector seems decent quality I think they should be able to fit without any problem it's a round connector I have not seen this type of connector before so let me just measure the length of this uh, cable so you can see the length of the cable is about 46 inches it's a little more than a meter so that's very nice a meter long a little more than meter long power cable we will connect this to our monitor later now let's let's take a look at the hdmi cable that we get with this so you get an hdmi cable with this uh, 19 inch monitor not a vga cable so if your motherboard or you only have a vga port as an output you will need to buy a vga cable separately so this is the vga cable that you get with this uh, plastic seems decent not the very best but still let me open this and measure it as well however I will not be using a VGA cable sorry the HDMI cable I will be only using VGA cable that I got used from the shopkeeper I got this monitor from so let me measure the length of the cable as well so it seems that the length of the VGA cable it's a little longer than uh, the power cable and it is about uh, 58 inches it's almost 1.5 meter long so that's very nice okay now the monitor only comes with an hdmi cable now because i'm going to be using this with a vga uh, port so let me connect my vga cable that i got so all you have to do is just align the connector put it in 
gently wiggle it a little bit until it is completely in and then simply screw this in so now that it is on let us put this on a table connect this to a computer and see how it looks all right guys so this is how the monitor looks when it is put on a table uh, you can see the logo the stand plastic stand there and this is how the monitor looks the monitor looks really really nice and right next to the monitor on the right side you will see that that's my lg 24 inch ips panel this is a 19 inch zebronix uh, tn panel now as you can see this is a reflective uh, monitor and this is what i was uh, talking about in the beginning uh, that reflective monitor will reflect everything that is in front of them so you can see my reflection in the monitor however on the other side you will not be able to see anything any reflection on a matte finish monitor now both has some advantages and disadvantages but some people uh, some people prefer a reflective screen because it uh, gives you a more crisp picture on the other hand a matte finish although it doesn't reflect a lot of things but uh, it gives you a little dull picture and the blacks are not very black sometimes you will see uh, there is a little bit of whitish tinge to the overall image so both has advantages and disadvantages nevertheless once you turn on the reflective screen even it becomes uh, very good once it is turned on reflection is only a problem when uh, our monitor is displaying something really black or in this case it is turned off at the moment so when turned off this is how the monitor looks and let me put the 19 inch monitor in front of the 24 inch so you will get an idea how big this monitor actually is compared to a bigger monitor all right guys as you can see i put uh, the smaller 19 inch monitor in front of the 24 inch monitor now because every camera has a perspective of its own uh, you won't be able to get a very good idea of the size but still you can see that uh, the, the behind you will see the 24 inch monitor so as you can see the size is not a very small once you put this on a desk it is very much usable so let me just turn all both these monitors on and then we'll compare the picture quality as well all right guys let's turn the monitor on so if you're looking at the monitor the if you go at the bottom from the leftmost side the first button that you encounter is the on off button click on it and you will see this red colored screen with the zepster logo and now the monitor is turned on at the bottom as i said in the beginning there is a red color led which lets you know that the monitor is turned on and it is displaying no signal so let me turn on my computer and we'll see how the windows booting screen looks on this so i've turned on my computer and you should be able to see the windows screen Here is how it looks when it says starting windows. This is the Windows 7 logo. And you can see the blue colored, how everything looks. Let me close this window now. So this is how everything looks. Let me give you a little zoom in. You can see that every text is very crisp. And because I'm using a very uh, old cheap phone this is the redmi note 7 that i'm recording this video on so there may be some problem focusing other than that you can see that the screen looks very good now this is again this is a problem as you can see on the part on which it is displaying black uh, you can see my reflection now this is not a very big problem if you're in a da uh, dark room however if you're in a room where there's a lot of lights behind you then you may uh, encounter a little problem using the monitor for example i've got this uh, my phone let me turn on the flashlight you can see that my flashlight uh, if there is lights behind you you will see their reflection in the monitor okay so let me show you what is the maximum resolution available on this monitor so let me right click on the screen click on screen resolution and as you can see the maximum resolution that we can get is 1366 and 768 which is what was written on the box at the moment i've just set the uh, screen resolution resolution to uh, 1360 by 768 which is my preference for this monitor at the moment but you should go with 1366 and 768 which will give you the best quality possible on this monitor so anyways that's not a big problem a lot of people use reflective screen i have been using a reflective screen for a very long time now so i don't uh, really worry about that so let me open a window and see how it looks when you open a windows window so this is a windows uh, explorer you can see this is how uh, the colors look looks really really nice now one problem with the tn panel is that the viewing angles are not great so as you can see at the moment we are looking at the monitor head-on so 
we are directly looking at the monitor there is no angle uh, uh, from the camera and the screen but when we change our angle you will see that some TN panels used to have a very bad viewing angle but on this monitor and I've seen this on a many screen now that the viewing angle has improved a lot even on TN panels so you can see I'm looking at in a very a sharp angle now and it's still the colors look all right and I can still make out what's what and that's from the left hand side and if I do the same from the right hand side you can see the same thing follows if you look at the from the top the picture becomes a little bright but still it looks better now the polarization happens once you look at it from the bottom so you can see once you look at it from the bottom then the picture becomes dark which is not a big problem because this is what happens when you buy a TN panel. Anyways, this is much, much better than what we used to get uh, many years ago. I think uh, display technologies have improved a lot compared to what we used to get uh, uh, six, seven years ago. This is a brilliant uh, screen in my opinion. All right, guys. So let's talk about a couple of scenarios that you would want this monitor for. So you can see at the moment, let's say if you want this for coding, uh, this is how VS Code looks. As you can see, it is a simple Java Hello World program. So this is how the VS code looks on this uh, 19 inch uh, Zebronix monitor. Let's say if you want this for uh, Word documents, this is how the Word looks. We've seen this screen many, many times. So hopefully you will be able to compare the colors, uh, how they look in this screen on this monitor. You can see the blue color, typical 2007 Microsoft Word document page. My camera is having trouble focusing, but nonetheless, this is how it looks a little uh, close up you can see very crisp no fringing uh, no problem whatsoever looks really nice so this is how the word uh, would look and finally let's say a lot of people use excel and this is how an excel sheet would look like this is an empty sheet at the moment a close-up of the screen obviously my camera is not focusing properly but again as I said in the beginning, once there is something white opened, you can you don't see any reflection at all. Uh, the reflection is a little bit problem only when uh, the monitor is displaying something black. But on a white screen or when the pic pixels are uh, brighter, uh, you don't see any reflections at all. So this is how everything uh, looks. So let me just open up a couple of videos and then we'll compare it to how it looks compared to uh, IPS screen. Anyways, let me go back to the VS code screen because of, uh, I had opened that in both the monitors. You can see this is how it looks 19 inch uh, Zebronix monitor. And this is how it looks on a LG 24 inch I IPS panel. So there's a little bit of difference on the IPS panel. And as you can see, there's a little bit of whitish tinge to the overall picture quality is not that very crisp on an IPS panel. Uh, not because this is an ips panel it is because it is a matte finish uh, but you can see there is no reflection at all even though it is black reflections are missing but the screen is a little a little dull compared to a reflective screen it's very crisp very sharp and very uh, reflective so there is a little bit of advantage and disadvantage at the same time having a reflective as well as a matte finish different people like different stuff but nonetheless uh, this is my comparison to a uh, uh, IPS panel with a matted finish, a TN panel with a reflective screen. Also, if you're a web developer, this is how the inspect screen looks like uh, in the Chrome. You can see you can read the text. Looks all right in my opinion. So if you're a web developer, this is how the screen would look on the inspect element section. So as you can see, this is how the uh, Google Chrome looks uh, on this monitor. Let me open up uh, Mozilla Firefox. And this is how the Mozilla Firefox looks on this monitor. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of pictures on the unsplash.com. So I'm starting with some animals and this first image is from uh, Laura College. So let's take a look at this image. So this is how it looks. Let me zoom it in a little bit. So after zooming it in, you can see this is how it looks on the 19 inch monitor. Comparing it to the 24 inch monitor, this is how the 24 inch monitor looks. IPS panel, this is the TN panel. Uh, more contrasty image on the TN panel. As you can see, let's take a look at the next image. So this is a Fox and this is from Ray Hennessy. 
brilliant image and this is how the fox looks i think the picture quality of this uh, monitor is decent i'm showing these images is because uh, people can relate to things that they have already seen this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, Sun Kunur by Kevin Mueller and as you can see a lot of us have seen this type of uh, Kunurs and we can relate whether this uh, is a tr uh, good representation of colors on this parrot or not. So I think it looks very true to me. The colors are really nice on this monitor. Let's go to the next image and see what we get. So there is a another image you can see this is also nice turtle a small dog this is from Charles Deluvio so I think the screen quality is really nice the color representation is very accurate in my opinion it's a little there's a little bit of contrast which I may decrease a little bit but in my first glance I think the color representation is very true in my opinion all right guys finally this is a video running on the smaller tn panel 19 inch zebronix monitor and this is the same video running on the uh, ips panel 24 inch ld monitor so you can see the difference between the two this is the smaller panel this is the ips panel uh, and ips panel 24 inch TN panel 19 inch a green field on both the monitors picture of earth both the monitors at the same time from afar Let me go to a different frame, a different frame, as you can see there is a Macau in this one, on the bigger IPS panel, the smaller TN panel, looking at both of them at the same time. So there we go i think this was a fair comparison or the demonstration of this monitor or how this looks uh, in different scenarios while using different softwares or watching video uh, looking at pictures uh, and hopefully this should be able to give you enough idea to decide whether this is a good uh, monitor for you or not on the internet sometimes i've seen this to go for 4500 rupees at the moment the price is 5000 as i told you in the beginning i got this for five uh, sorry uh, 4000 rupees in the local market and i think that was a good price in my opinion the only thing that i'm uh, looking for is that if it uh, i'm I don't know how long this monitor is going to last so if it lasts me more than five years i think this is going to be a very good monitor for this price so with that let me conclude i hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye